You got problems, and we're going to address them one day. <clears throat> so whoever made this rapper tier list, they have Princess Nokia in the trash category. YK Osiris is understandable. I, I can accept that. MC Ride. No. I don't listen to too much Zillikami, but I know he's not trash. Tierra Whack. No. Injury Reserve. No. Open Mike Eagle. No. Like, these are just... You just you just look shit up. You just looked up rapper names that you didn't listen to and just said, nah, these niggas are trash. Who 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 made this? Almost always lacks in quality or skill, but isn't entirely trash. Almost always lacks. ASAP Rock, one of the most consistent disc LP, one of the most consistent discographies. Rhapsody, one of the most consistent discographies. Action Bronson, you might not like every release, but to say he's lacking in skill, crazy. Is this Nip? Nigga, stop. Slim Jimmy, that's a bad take. That's a bad take. You could probably call him inconsistent, but calling him like Always lacking? Not good. Vic Mensa, not true. Cupcake, not true. Lil B, Legend, Wale, not true. Killer Mike, not true. Freddie Gibbs, are you fucking serious? No name? Rico Nasty? I could X out literally every person on this list. Okay, Mosey. Why is Mosey why is Mosey in the almost not like he he is objectively trash? Big Crit, Megan the Stallion, YG, Abso, MF Doom, T Grizzly, Royce the Five Nine, Made in Tokyo. Isaiah Rashad, all of these are wrong. Actually, Made in Tokyo is fine. Made in Tokyo is fine. And Lil Mosey, I guess if you want to make him interchangeable with trash or almost trash, fine. I don't give a fuck. Not that deep. Not that deep. I don't care like that about Mosey like that. The rest of these are just wrong. The rest of these are just wrong. We're getting into worse territory because somehow Macklemore made it over T Grizzly, MF Doom, YG, Megan, Big Crit, uh, Killer Mike, Run the Jewels, LP, Rhapsody. Like, apparently, Macklemore, Lil Xan, Kid Cudi, Black, and no, no hate, no hate to Black. I love Black. Comethazine, Lil Skies, Tory Lanez, Lil Dicky, Designer. All these people are 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 better. Then everybody underneath them is what they're trying to say. This is a rapper tier list. That's what you're looking at. I wish you weren't looking at it, but you are. Peggy being occasionally good is just not true. He hasn't had a single bad release. You might like a, you might not like a few of his songs, but, but saying that he's occasionally good but not consistently, that's just a fucking lie. That's just a lie. Herb, occasionally good but not consistently, I can see an argument being made for this. I'm not mad at this take. I'm not mad at this take. It could be worse. It could be more egregious. Sure. But I'm not mad at that take. Macklemore shouldn't even be on this fucking list. He's he's less than trash. He's less than trash. Kyle, that makes sense here. Famous Dex, that makes sense here. Bad Baby, trash. T-Pain, nowadays, that makes sense. But I feel like he's too big of a legend to even put on a rapper tier list. There are a couple people I just don't feel like you... Like you can't really fully get everything that you can out of a out of a placement with T Pain. He's been too influential, too impactful. I don't even feel comfortable putting him on a, on a rapper tier list because he's 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 just so much more than what a, than what a list could give him credit for. In my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? Lil Xan, uh, no trash. T Pain occasionally good, but not consistently. I I can agree. Danny Brown absolutely wrong, absolutely wrong. J Rock I can understand that. You know what I'm saying? Lil Nas X I can understand that. Block Boy J B don't listen to him don't listen to him enough to really you know what i'm saying take a take a strong stance on him like that hobson i can't even say he's been occasionally good i haven't heard i, I last time i heard a hobson album was i think 2018 and i forgot what album that was um and it was it was just cringe it was just cringe i mean skill wise i guess as a technical rapper he's got some skill but i wouldn't call any of his work recently quality it's just cringe. Why being Amir makes sense. French Montana, he needs to be below. He needs to be below. He definitely needs to be below. Smoke Perp, trash. Roddy Rich makes sense here. Kid Cuddy makes sense here. Uh, Black makes sense here. Machine Gun Kelly, trash. Sheck West, 
He needs to be a spot below. Rich the Kid. Uh, fair. Ty Dolla Sign, fair. Designer, trash. Young Boy, fair. Earl Sweatshirt. No, absolutely not. You're completely wrong. You're completely wrong. I think Earl Sweatshirt hasn't had a bad record come out since... Only only thing that Earl came out with that I wasn't a big fan of was Doris. Earl needs to be higher. I just wasn't a fan of it. I didn't say it was bad. I just wasn't a fan of it. Um, Lil Dicky, trash. Tory Lanez, I won't call him trash. Occasionally good, but not consistently. It depends on what the occasion is. It it depends on what the occasion is. I can I can hear Tory Lanez and acknowledge the skill, um, but for the most part, he don't be saying shit. For the most part, like he he he's a definition of like a like a nothing sandwich. You you come out I come out generally at the end of at the end of his songs not having gained anything. You know, um, in the form of replay value. Like I said, the, the the songs aren't bad. They're not shit, but they could just be better, or they could be packed with something like content, something interesting, anything. I just feel like that's what his career has been for a while. Just nothing, nothing. Um, Lil Skies, I won't I won't say he's trash, but like almost always lacking in quality seems like a good spot for him. Um, I, I'm and I'm just going through these right now. I'm 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 about to redo it. I'm about to redo it myself. But these are just egregious. Uh, Brock Hampton, depending on the person you ask, I guess that's fair. Vince Staples, no, he's just been consistently good. That's just a bad take. G Easy. Uh, trash. Tyga, honestly, he don't even need to be here. Tay K, not even a long enough discog to be included on a rapper tier list. Why is he on the list? I don't know. The fact that I'm about to see some bullshit like up here is really going to piss me off. Jaden Smith, Lil Peep, YNW Melly, no. Three three immediate no's right off the rip. Uh, What, what is this? Wiz Khalifa, uh, I would say occasionally good, but not consistently. Uh, He's got some classics behind him, though. I will say that. Lil Pump, absolutely fucking not. Do you look at his tra- career trajectory? You look at where he's at and say that he's good? But 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 Earl Sweatshirt and all these other niggas are just always lacking or only occasionally good? Are you serious? Anderson Pot, he needs to be higher. Takeoff. That's fine. I'm fine with Takeoff being there. I'm fine with Takeoff being there. Amine, I'm fine with him being here. Corday. Well, Corday is only occasionally good. He's only occasionally good to me. Schoolboy Q, fair. Quavo, fair. Joyner Lucas, lower. 6ix9ine, trash. Sway Lee, fair. Rihanna, why? Why? Rihanna's not a rapper. What the fuck? Why is, why is Rihanna on a rapper tier list? What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, I'm not even going to judge that. Why, why, why the fuck is she on the list? What the fuck? Cardi B, fair. I'm 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 honestly I'm honestly liking what Cardi B has been putting out recently. Uh, Ray Schremer, honestly, I'm gonna put them I'm gonna put them a spot below. But you know what? They they haven't released an album in a couple years, so I mean I guess that's fair. Blueface being here is fucking crazy. A Boogie, fair. Nas, he's had an incredible run the last three or so years or something like that. P- put him up, put him up. The, like his back catalog gives him enough of a reason to be at the top spot, but just the recent run that he's had, put him up. Uh, Logic, he needs to be below. Jid needs to be a spot above. Big Sean, perfect here. Lil Baby, perfect here. Trippy Red needs to be below. Joey Badass, perfect here. Chance, perfect here. Chief Keef, honestly, I'm gonna put him up. Probably, I'm gonna put him up. Um, Fifty Cent, I'm gonna put him up. Ice Cube, I'm gonna put him up. Lil Yachty, mm, okay, that's fair. He's had a run though. He has a, he's had a run recently. Kodak Black. I guess this is fair, but I'm gonna put Kodak Black in the occasionally good category. I know we started off the stream listening to to, to, to Yak, but I can't I can't get jiggy with this take. <clears throat> I'm not gonna acknowledge the baby because that's a fucking joke. There's no way he's good at in any capacity right now, bro. Just I'm just sorry, bro. It's just not true. Um Meek, sure. Gunna, sure. Offset, sure. Ferg, sure. Gucci needs to be a spot below. Pusha T needs to be a spot above. Nicki Minaj, I really have no idea where to put her. I'm going to be honest with you. 
but I'm gonna figure it out when I when I rank them myself. And then here we got very talented, uh, near flawless but not top tier. Lil Wayne is easily top tier. Todd the Creator, extremely talented but not flawless. Twenty one, sure in that spot too. ASAP Rocky. We might have to change. We might have to change the 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 the, the criteria. I might put Rocky in a top spot. I, I can't lie. I can't lie. Rocky might be up. He might be. Rocky is not only influential but impactful. I feel like he started a lot of careers. He's certainly more deserving of the best in the game spot than Travis Scott. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't say Wayne needed to be in this spot. I said Wayne needed to be a spot above. Um, Childish Gambino, I feel like is good here. Juice World needs to be below. Jay Z is no way near shape or form in the same category with the, the rest of these people, bro. I'm sorry. Um, he needs to be a spot above. Denzel Curry, I think this is the perfect spot for him. Uh, XXXTentacion, no, that's fucking crazy. I don't know what you've listened to to make you feel like um, nearly flawless. I don't know where that comes from. Future, I'm giving him a top spot. I'm just giving him a top spot. Young Thug, same, same, same thing, same thing. Personally, same thing. Personally, I know he hasn't been that consistent recently, but like I could give, I could give Thug a better spot. I could. Cardi, definitely not nearly flawless. I could put Cardi in the. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna talk about Cardi later. Post Malone, po post fucking Malone above Ice Cube, Fifty Cent, Chance the Rapper, Chief, Chief Key. This is the whitewash list. What are we saying? What are we really saying? How the fuck do you put? Okay, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, Migos, that makes sense. Uh, Ski Mask, honestly, bro, he hasn't been showing me much lately. He hasn't been. I'm going to talk about him later, though. Mac Miller, can I say he's nearly flawless? Nah, I can't say that. Not for me. I'm going to put him in the good category. Um, and then at the top spots, we got Kendrick, Kanye, Fair, Travis Scott, J. Cole, fucking joke, Drake. I feel like in cult, like culturally speaking, in the songs that Drake has made, you could say that he's one of the best. But in terms of everything required for you to be like untouchable, Drake ain't there. Drake ain't there. Eminem, we gonna have to have a conversation about that one. Lil Uzi, definitely fucking not. So that was that person's or the, the the general consensus, I guess, of Twitter's understanding of like where where hip hop would need to be. I guess I don't know. I'm definitely not putting Uzi in the best of all time spot. I'm not. Um, Uzi, Uzi got to show me a bit more or a lot more for me to consider that. I'm not saying I don't respect Uzi. Uzi's made some hits. Uzi's got a lot of good shit, but he not a he not best in the game, bro. Stop. You're, you're lying to yourself. Be but like, bro. Be honest with yourself. Like, come on, bro. We notice. We notice. So, in lieu of this, in lieu of this, I've decided to make my own list. To make my own list. I'm put the chat right here. Where should I put the chat? I'm put chat over here. Chat gonna be over there. We gonna make our own list. Should I make this a little bit bigger? Because I don't know if y'all can see. That should be fine, right? That's fine. <clears throat> it's not going to take three hours. It's going to be real fucking simple. Bad Baby. Trash. She don't even make music no more. But the music that she did make, it was garbage. Big Crit. I'm going to be fair and I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say he's in the very talented, near flawless, but not top tier for me. A um, couple of records of his that I'm not a big fan of. Um, he did have that mainstream record that came out. Uh, Crit was here. I was a fan of a couple of songs off there, but I can't say that he's in the top spot. I would like to consider it, though, because he's had some amazing music come out. I'm not going to lie to you, but I'm not. I, I don't know what's preventing me from keeping him in, in, in the best of the game category. It's probably the discography. That's probably what it is for me. Um, 21 Savage, very talented. Can I say nearly flawless discography? No, but the run that he's be, been on since like 2017, he's been on a five year run. Six. He's been on a six-year run, pretty much, for my, for me. He hasn't missed in a long time. He hasn't missed in a very long time. <clears throat> Twenty-seven. I'm gonna say I'm gonna give him since 2017 because he did the table offset in Metro. So, um, just been it's just been a good it's just been uphill since then. 
Uh, six nine trash. Sorry, black. I need another record from black. I can understand. You know, I would like to put him higher. I would like to see more from him. We need a couple. We need we need some more hits. We need some more music from him before I can decide and put him in a good or great or very talented category. I would like to, and I love some of his music, but he he need he need to give me something soon. Um, Ferg. I feel like he's in the good but not great category. Sometimes he's a miss, sometimes he's a hit. But when he get, when he does when he does really well, he goes crazy. Ferg is fucking amazing and phenomenal when he makes a great song. Plain Jane is still one of my songs of the decade. It is. Um, Rocky. I don't know. Rocky has an argument for being one of the best in the game. He does, because Rocky's earlier shit. That shit did something for me. It did. I'm going to put him here for now, but I might move him up. I might move Rocky up. I might. Abso. How did y'all feel about his recent album? How did y'all feel about his recent album? I still have not listened to Herbert. I still have not listened to it yet. I want to so bad, but I don't know. Abso, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna put him here. That's where I feel like I'm gonna put him for right now. I know control system was 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 like fucking amazing, but beyond that, we had uh, do without wilt. Herbert came out. Was was do without wilt the last record before Herbert? Yeah, we already packed Mojave up. Damn, we might have to we might have to revisit it. Um, two chains. I'm gonna put him in. I'm gonna put him in the occasionally good based off of his discography right now. You know, um, most of what he's putting out, I don't feel interested in. I won't say that that's always his fault. So I could easily put him in this category too. But I feel like for the good category, it's like most of the time when I'm listening to these dudes. I'm hearing something that's listenable and that's good. Nothing that's usually ever forgettable. When it comes to two chains, there's a lot of his discog in the last few years has been forgettable to me. So it is what it is. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know what. I don't know who you're talking to, Billie Eilish. I don't know why y'all are y'all arguing. I don't know what. I don't know what's going on. Fifty Cent. I don't feel like Fifty Cent's discography, like post his infamy. Like I don't feel like it's I don't feel like like uh, Fifty Cent couldn't drop a song right now and shake the world. He couldn't, and I feel like the thing that's different about Fifty Cent versus Jay Z versus Nas, like those are older legends that can drop music right now, get people that are from their generation and ours talking about their skill level, the music that they're making, have quotables. 50 Cent is, isn't in that space. Um, I would like to put him much higher, but he's he's just not going to get that GOAT conversation. Um, but all things combined, I could, I could put him here. I could put him here, but I could see someone putting him in the good but not great category too. I'm not putting him in the GOAT category, bro. I'm not putting 50 Cent right there. Love, love so much of his music, but I'm not putting him all the way up there. Um, Boogie, A Boogie, good but not great occasionally good I, I like i like a boogie i'm a little biased toward a boogie i like his melodies sometimes he get me with some nice flows uh rapping is fair i mean fine you know i don't usually have a problem with a boogie you know what i'm saying i usually like what's coming from him action bronson same thing not always a fan of what he's saying or or the music but it's always pretty consistent you know what i'm saying um a boogie always lacks i don't think so i don't think a boogie's a bad artist I feel like if he took put, took a little bit more time, he could just be, you know what I'm saying? He could be better. He could be better, definitely, but I don't feel like he's occasionally good. Usually when I'm listening to A Boogie, I'm hearing something that I can just ride to. That's just me. Um, Aesop Rock. I'm going to put him here. I'm going to put him here. The style of rap that he makes just isn't my preference at this point, 
but I'm not going to sit up here and say he's occasionally good. Usually I'm listening to Aesop Rock. He's dropping something decent at the very least, at the very least. I could really put him higher, but usually listening to Aesop Rock, I'm listening to something quality. A Boogie is terrible. Not to me. Not to me. Uh, Amine, another case of the good but not great. At least recently, what was that last album that he dropped? What was the last album that he dropped? Fuck, I forgot the name of it. Oh my God, what was that? Limbo. There you go. I like Limbo a lot. And he had a couple records off of the the one where he was sitting on a toilet too that I liked. Um, before that, he was making some music that was pretty cookie cutter, but around the board has been pretty listenable. So I'm a chill with him in, in, in the good category. Anderson Pac, very talented, near flawless. Uh, Big Sean, good, not great. Uh, he's definitely been wa- far, far worse. I feel like over the past, like probably three years or so, maybe give or take, he's been pretty strong, pretty consistent. So I put him here. He's definitely never been a bad technical rapper. Sometimes his voice is a little boring. Sometimes I feel some Drake emulation, but honestly, or maybe it's probably the other way around. But honestly, I feel like Big Sean is. I feel like Big Sean is solid. You could say he trash, but like listening to his recent shit, bro. Like, hold on, bro, because y'all y'all blowing me. What has Big Sean recently dropped? <clears throat> His last shit, you know, Detroit 2 was, oh, I didn't know. What was the last thing that he dropped before Detroit 2? Was it I Decided? He had a couple. Oh, I forgot Double or Nothing. Double or Nothing was not a good album. Damn. What you expect was good, though. This EP with Hit Boy was good. This EP with Hit Boy was solid. It was. It was solid. I remember listening to that. That shit was solid. Detroit 2 was, you know, that was solid, too. What else? But the like I decided to shaky Dark Side Paradise. Oh my God, double or nothing, fucking trash. That's a lot. I don't know. I might actually have to put them lower. Great, good, but not great. Might be somewhat inconsistent. Occasionally good, but not consistently. I feel like he need one more album. I don't know. I'll put him here for right now. One more album from Big Sean. He's going in the good but not great category. One more album from Big Sean. He's going there. Block Boy JB. I ain't heard nothing from dude that I really wanted to listen to since Look Alive. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to just be 100% honest. Blueface, um, I prefer him over Bad Baby and 6 9 but he's usually always trash. Brockhampton, still haven't listened to the last two tapes that they dropped in, around December, I think. I don't know what's wrong, why I, I feel this natural urge to stay away from those records. I just have not tuned into them yet. Um... But their discography for me when I was listening to them was strong. It was strong, bro. Even if there were some records that I just didn't prefer, you know, me coming in at the Saturation Trilogy, then listening to, you know, uh, what was that one record? Ginger, listening to uh, Road Runner wasn't bad. It was a record before that in between. I forgot what the fuck it was called, though. Um, Iridescence. Like, I feel like they've been good. They've been good. Maybe, 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 the, maybe people didn't like their most recent records. I still got to listen to it, but they've been good, bro. They've been good. Cardi B, same situation. She's definitely improved over the years. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to what she's putting out next. Tomorrow 2 was fucking great. Her and Glow really killed that shit. Her flows have been good. I like Cardi B's voice now. She's so much better now than she used to be. She's not lower than that, bro. I'm sorry. She's not. She's not. I know you want to hate on her. But she is not that low. She's not. Most of what I've been hearing from Cardi B has been pretty decent. I ain't gonna lie. No way Cardi B is in the same tier. Would Cardi B be above Big Sean? Let me ask you that. Is Cardi B better than Big Sean? Let me think. What was the last album that Cardi B dropped? Let me see. Let me see. I, I said Big Sean. Jesus Christ. I'm all ears. In other words, here for you. This was the last one. Oh, she did drop WAP. Okay, I might have to drop her. I didn't know she dropped WAP. I forgot she did. I, for, I forgot she did WAP. I forgot she did WAP. I forgot she did WAP. They in the same tier. They in the same tier. They in the same tier. Um, Outside of his marriage album, Chance the Rapper is, is far from bad. Um, to, to to suggest a Chance the Rapper like somehow fell off because of that one record, bro. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, Chief Keef. 
I won't say nearly flawless, but his status, bro, like he did so much. I'm going to put him in the good but not great category. I want to put him so much higher, though, bro. I really do. Y'all haven't. The ones that are saying GOAT have not listened to Chief Keef's whole discography. They haven't. Y'all listen to the hits, which are fucking great. Don't get me wrong. They're fucking amazing. But I feel like any nigga who's listening to Chief Keef, who's actually gone through his discog, is not fucking calling him the greatest of all time. You're just not. Um, His most recent record was great, though. His most recent one was pretty good. The hits cancel it out. They don't. Because if that was the case, I would put 50 Cent higher. If that was the case, I'd put 50 higher. But if you go through Chief Keef's whole discography, bro, I can't, I can't, I can't justify him being best in the game. We might be able to argue very, very talented. Because he is. But I can't put him in the best of the game, bro. L- listen to his whole shit. You're gonna be like, yo, what the fuck is this? You you're gonna say that, bro. You go you're gonna say that. And you're bound to. He's dropped so much music over the years. I'm not I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at him. Childish Gambino. Before Awaken My Love, how did I feel about Childish Gambino? I wasn't his biggest fan. Awaken My Love turned me into a bit of a fan. After that, he dropped a random tape. And he did an EP, I believe, in between that. Besides that, I couldn't say that it was too much from him. But since Awaken My Love, he's been pretty consistent. But his whole discog, he has not been consistent. But right now, I could be confident in saying that if Childish Gambino drops some music, I could be confident it would be good. You know, maybe not his whole discog, but I definitely I would feel confident with him, you know, saying that he's nearly flawless. I think it's just again, I, I feel like this is another case of having recency bias and not listening to his whole discog. Um, Comethazine. I'm going to say always lacks. I heard a few decent records from Comethazine. Can't really say that he's anything above this, in my opinion. Cupcake. I put her in the good. Nah, I'll put her down here. I'm going to put her down here. I'm going to say occasionally. Y'all don't know who Cupcake is? Really? Yo, I feel like if I play one of her songs, y'all going to hate. Y'all going to hate. First thing niggas going to think is Squidward. That's the first thing they going to think. Um, The Baby. If we could sum up The Baby's career... And just be objective about his. If we could sum up the baby's career, I would probably say the baby is either here or here. Because I know recently the baby has been trash like the last year since COVID started. I want to say a little bit after COVID came around, um, the baby's been fucking garbage, like absolute trash. I would never want to play him. But to sum up his whole career. Earlier on, he definitely was putting together some music that people could enjoy, listen to, fuck with. Acting like his whole discog is trash and we should just forget about everything he dropped pre-2020. I feel like that's a I feel like that's short sighted. We don't need to do that. He's definitely garbage right now. But earlier on, I could I could see somebody saying that he, 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 he was next up. I could see that. I'll listen to his new track because I have not heard that yet. I heard a lot of controversy about it, though. Danny Brown, near flawless. Um, Triple X, the records before that, Atrocity Exhibition. You know what I'm saying. He got the new one with the, uh, JPEG Mafia coming out. Um, just all around GOAT. He could have been. He could. Danny Brown really could be in that conversation. I might move him. I might move him. I'm not going to lie. Denzel Curry. Very strong discography. I can't lie. I couldn't even say good, but not great. Like, Denzel Curry's been solid for his whole career. I'm not going to lie to you. He's just been solid the whole time. whole time he's been solid to me. Designer al- almost always lacking Drake. Fucking Drake. Damn. How do I sum up Drake's entire discography? He's definitely not a GOAT. I want to say he is. He got a hit off every album. He's got a moment at every point in my life. He got something for every nigga. He does. 
Drake is in every tier? On God, I could put Drake in every fucking tier and it would be justifiable. You are 100% correct. But we can't. We can only put him in one tier. But he is so versatile at being like trash, good, great, amazing, goat conversation, forgettable. He is in all of those categories at the exact same time. Should I put him in the I don't know conversation? Because that's really an I don't know. He's definitely not nearly flawless. Good, but not great. Honestly, I'm going to put him here. I'm going to put him here. We might have to go back to it. We might have to we might have to go back to it. But if I'm going to be honest, he is incredibly inconsistent. I'm sorry. He just is incredibly. I'm not trolling at all. He is incredibly. Drake is incredibly inconsistent, bro. He is. I would love to put him higher, but I cannot go through almost six years of a drought listening to this nigga's music and sitting back and being like, yo, this nigga's a goat. There's no way. There's no way. I'm thinking about views. I'm thinking about more life. I'm thinking about Scorpion. I'm thinking about the forgettable joints he dropped in between that. Um, Then he recently dropped the emoji tape. Thank me later wasn't that great. Uh, I'm not putting, I'm not, I, I can't say he's nearly flawless. I can't. To say Drake is nearly flawless is a disrespect to, to Big Crit. Honestly, 21 Savage is nearly flawless. ASAP Rocky, same thing. 50 Cent, same thing. Anderson Pac, same thing. Danny Brown, same thing. Dizzle Curry. To me, to put Drake in that conversation, I'd also have to be saying that I listen to almost every one of his albums. Rocky is definitely more consistent than Drake. If you don't agree, die. Argue with your mom. 50 is like Drake. Yeah, but 50 has... I mean, yeah, he is. You're right. If you want, I could put 50 Cent lower. But 50 is different. 50 is. He different. But Drake is probably beating 50 in a hit battle. Y'all want me to drag down 50? If I have to dra- if I'm putting Drake here, you want me to drop 50? I'll drop 50. I'll drop him. I'll drop him. Fuck it. I'll drop 50. I'll drop 50. Fuck it. We'll drop 50. We'll drop him. We'll drop him. That's fine. That's fine with me. Earl Sweatshirt, very talented, nearly flawless. Nearly flawless in my opinion. LP. <sighs> LP's earlier stuff, I wasn't a big I wasn't a huge fan of, but he's going up here. Wait. He's going right here. He's going right there, bro. Eminem. Fuck. Fuck. Saying 21 is better than Drake is insane? No, it's not. Like I said, when you stop just attributing someone's career to their back catalog and you start looking at their career in its entirety, you will realize that 21 Savage is a far more consistent artist than Drake is. He might not have the hit quality, but to say that Drake is a better rapper than 21 Savage, I feel like you're fucking your brain dead. That's just not a good take, bro. It's just not. Um, Eminem. Jesus Christ. Overall. Overall, like right now, I would say Eminem's occasionally good, but not consistently. Overall, the Eminem's extremely talented, though. Eminem is extremely talented. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I I know we joke around a lot. That's not bias. That's not bias. I just feel like there's a certain level of rap that no one can. And it's it's not as simple as just fast rap when it comes to Eminem. Like it is to a very, a very strong degree. I know I can't say that he's nearly flawless. If he retired, if Eminem retired at 2010, he would easily be in, in 2009. He would easily be best in the game. One of the best in the game, objectively speaking. But we have to account those records, too. We have to account those records too. I really want to put him in a very talented, nearly flawless. 
he he is easily probably as far as mainstream is concerned the probably the best technical rapper I've ever heard in my life. I'm gonna drop him here. We might raise him one. We might raise him one later on. Uh, famous Dex all, almost always lacking. Uh, French Montana almost always lacking. He does have some hits though. Future. I feel like I'm Dick Riding. I feel like I'm Dick Riding if I put Future above Fifty Cent. No, I'm not. Honestly, Future, if Future getting hits, bro, I'm sorry. Future is actually getting hits. Future dropping hits right now that I'm fucking with. He got hits in the past that I'm fucking with. You can say I'm dick riding us as much as you want, bro. Every single moment in my life, bro, Future is more important to me than Drake. I'm sorry. Future is more important to me than Drake. If we if we got to look, if we got if I got to save two niggas, and and they both holding my arms, bro. And I gotta use my other arm, my other arm to save a nigga. And it's Future and Drake b- b- below me. I'm saving Future. I'm saving him. Shaboing boing, all you a shaboing boing, my dick. I don't care. I don't care, bro. I will play you a Future song right now that will have you in fucking tears. I will, I will play music from Future right now that will have you in tatters. In tatters. I can't, I can't, I, 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 don't, I can't even have a conversation, bro. I can't even have a conversation, bro. You can say your boing boing as much as you want, suck my dick. I don't care. Argue with your mom. We'll have a conversation about it later. But, fu- bro, Future, oh, my God. Look, if I could just, look, if I just scroll through Future's discography real quick. I'm not going to play no songs because we'll be here all day. I ain't going to play no songs because we'll be here all day. Come on, load up, bitch. I never liked you. You can debate about that if you want. DS2, fucking amazing. Hendrix, awesome. Purple Rain, awesome. High Off Life, awesome. Future, awesome. This one I just, probably within the last year and a half, started to fuck with. Heavy, awesome. Monster, great. Beast Mode 2, I'm not a big fan of. 56 Nights, great. Beast Mode, the first one, great. Honest, great. Streets Calling, a little dated in production, I'll admit. Uh, Evil, wasn't the best. Super Slimy, wasn't the best. What a time to be alive. Mainly Future for me, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. This is a solid, bro, as much as niggas want to say Future, you know, he falling off and shit like that. Future's got a very solid discography. He does. I'm not even about to argue back and forth with niggas, bro. You you had to be there. That's it. That's what I'll say. The same way old niggas feel about Rakim and Eric B about that album, I feel about Future. You got, you had to be outside. You had to be outside. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Jew Emanuel, you dick eating. You dick eating. And I'm deleting your message. You dick eating. You dick eating. Oh shit, that Uzi tape wasn't that great though. But that was mainly Uzi's fault. If it was just future, I'm I'm fine with that. G Easy, trash. G Herbo. Good. Uh, I got a G Herbo bias though. I do. I got a G Herbo bias. I'm cool with it. Um I can see someone saying that he's occasionally good, but G Herbo, he 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 be, he be dropping them hits, bro. He does. He be dropping them hits. I can't put him in the very like he is very talented, but I can't say he's nearly flawless, bro. I can't say that. Uh, Gucci Mane, same conversation. I haven't heard a good album from Gucci Mane since Drop Top Wop, which was fucking great. And his earlier work, fucking amazing, fire, fantastic. What was a lot? Have I heard anything good from Gucci since Drop Top Wop? Hold on, because Drop Top Wop was great. <clears throat> Drop Top Wop was fucking great. Though freestyle, heard a nigga fit, bro. He had hits off this one. He had uh, fucking hits off this one. Holy shit! Metro. Actually, Mr. Davis wasn't too terrible. It wasn't great, but it wasn't too terrible from what I remember. Yeah, this nigga got way too much music, bro. But I can't put him higher, bro. His discography is just way too inconsistent for me. But Gucci Mane is 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 a goat. He is a goat, but he's just not consistent. That's all. Evil Genius was good. When did Evil Genius drop? Gunna. As I go back through Gunna's discography, I could have been a little too harsh on him when he first dropped. <sighs> I'm gonna say he's occasionally good to me. If I had to listen to a Gunna album, 
I probably feel the same way I felt about Dripper Drown, Dripper Dripper Drown Two. Um, what, what, what was it? Gunna Seasons, you know, or no, not Gunna Seasons, Drip Seasons. Um, it's just up in the air for me. When he when he's good, he's great. When he's not, I never want to hear this nigga again. Hobson almost always lacking in quality or skill. I can't say that, so I'd have to just say he's trash. I'd rather say Hobson is trash than say that he's almost always lacking. Because he has skill. He's just never talking about anything that I'm interested in or want to hear about. Ever. You know what? Actually, I'm going to put him in the don't know. And actually, this isn't, it's not even about me not knowing. Not a fan. <clears throat> not a fan. I can say whether I'm a fan or not. I'm not a fan of Hobson. It's as simple as that. Um, Ice Cube. Ugh. I would so love to put him in the very top, like nearly flawless discog, bro. Bro, I like y'all. Y'all have a lot. I don't know if it's selective memory, but y'all clearly are letting me know that y'all have not listened to these artists' entire discography. Cause Ice Cube, like you can't cut off an artist's discography from like when they had their moment of fame to like 2000 and, and like two or three, like he still kept dropping music beyond that point. And a lot of that music was not good. I'd have to put like, let me, let me see if I can show you. Hold on. Where is it? Cause a lot of niggas don't know that these artists keep dropping music after their best work. And I know some niggas stop listening, but I don't. This was fucking terrible. Laugh Now, Cry Later was terrible to me. Um, War and Peace, not good to me. Everything, this would, this probably was the most, one of the most cringe albums I've ever heard from you. I ain't gonna lie, this 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 album was cringe for me. And, I, and, and it was definitely a lot of niggas tuning in. It was like, Ice Cube was also that guy that Eminem is to like alt right people. I'ma listen to Cube because he he raps with a message, and then you listen to the message and it's bullshit. Of course, Ice Cube still be dropping music. That's what I'm saying. A lot of niggas just stop listening after after their best work, and they just like this is all they've ever dropped. Like no, no, niggas kept going, and a lot of that shit was fucking ass. But it ain't. It ain't too terrible, I guess. When did this one come out? I know he dropped the album in 06, too. No, this wasn't it. This wasn't it. War and Peace wasn't the one I was thinking about. War and Peace wasn't the one I was thinking about. I think it was Laugh Now, Cry Later, wasn't it? Yes, this was the one. It wasn't War and Peace. It was Laugh Now, Cry Later. Uh, oh, man. I, I don't know. Oh, no. This one? I didn't like this one, either. Yeah, this one was bad, too. <sighs> It's, it's three whack albums enough for me to say that you're not. I'm going to just put him in the good category, man. I can't put him no higher. For me to put him higher to say he's nearly flawless. When I say a nigga flawless. When I say a nigga flawless, that means even in the parts of his career that weren't hype, he was still dropping quality records. His writing is nearly flawless. Earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna put him here. I'm gonna put him here. I can't justify putting him. I can't just justify putting him above the other niggas in the same category. I can't. Um, Isaiah Rashad. Same conversation. Same conversation. Good, but not great. Um, I've liked a lot of uh, earlier Isaiah Rashad music too. The most recent record that he dropped was pretty good. Outside of that, I really got nothing else to say. Decent and and and, and very consistent. I wouldn't say he's somewhat inconsistent though. I would say he's consistent. Um, but he's consistently good. I can't put him above that. He hasn't broken through that that tier, bro. Not for me. Not for me. Uh, J. Cole. Always good. J. Cole is always doing at the very baseline to be considered good. But I could never say that he is near flawless. 
He definitely not a goat to me. Um, shit, you said that Drake is better than Cole. Yeah, I'm saying I didn't say Drake was better than Cole. I said that Drake would be my preference to Cole, and that when you listen to J Cole's albums, they are usually better than Drake's albums. But you never return to J Cole's albums. You listen to Drake's hits in his singles, meaning that Drake's high moments usually overtake Cole's consistency. I would prefer Drake's I would prefer Drake's highs to Cole's consistency because Cole's consistency is not a consistency that I'm willing to return to. That don't mean he's trash. I actually like J. Cole. J. Cole is a good rapper to me. But to say he's uh, preferable to a lot of other artists, bro, you're not turning on J. Cole. It's, I'm, I'm not even going to have that conversation again, but you're just not doing that. Jaden Smith, bro, almost always lacking in quality or skill. Can't call him trash. He has some moments. He has some hits. Uh, but I'm not putting him no. I'm not putting him above, bro. Um, J. Rock. I'm going to put him in the occasionally good category. I need a solid all the way through album from J-Rock before I can put him any higher than this, bro. How did you explain that without stuttering once without, what the hell? What do you mean? Did I, I didn't stutter? I don't even be knowing what I be saying sometimes, but I, 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 I know how to get my thoughts out. Jay-Z, yeah, he, he deserves the spot without a doubt, without a doubt. Discography been consistent and strong. I haven't I haven't lived through a bad Jay Z album. The collab with Kanye I wasn't a huge fan of, and he had that one, I think it was American Gangster that I wasn't a, I wasn't too keen on. But looking through Jay Z's discography, looking through Jay Z's discog, bro, the Blueprint, four forty four. I I st- I'm fiending for another Jay Z album. I'm fiending. The Black Album, Reasonable Doubt. I wasn't a huge fan of Magna Carta, but it wasn't a bad album. The Blueprint 3, not my favorite. Uh, In My Lifetime, Hard Knock. Bro, like, these are these are just quality records. These are just quality records. They are. He deserves that spot without a doubt. I wasn't a big fan of Everything Is Love, but I'm still willing to listen to it. And then you can't forget his collab with Jay Electronica. Nah, bro. He deserved that spot. More than anybody on this list right now, he deserves the spot. He's he deserves the spot. JID. Very talented, nearly flawless, but not top tier. And I know niggas gonna look at this and be like, above Drake, above Eminem, above J. Cole. I'm looking simply at their discography. Discography, skill level, JID, since he's dropped, since he's come out, every record of his has been very good. Very good. He, what was dragging these other people that have made timeless music down is that they keep making music. That's the only thing that's been. That's the only thing that's dragging Ice Cube down, Eminem and Drake is that they kept or and Fifty Cent is that they and Chief Keef is that they kept making more and more music and they kept having these holes be poked in their discography. Of course Jid is above Gunna. Are you crazy? Where did Gunna go? Oh, here he is. Joey Badass. Good but not great. And I would love for him to be higher, bro. He got 1999 under his belt. He got Before the Money under his belt. Those are some of my favorite Joey Badass music. The pieces of music from him. Immediately. Oh, man. Joey Badass should be higher. He really should be. All American Badass was good. 2000 was good too. I wouldn't say 2000 is fire. I, I can't say 2000 is fire, bro. It's not fire. It's good, but it's not fire, bro. And it's definitely the weakest, I think, out of Joey's recent releases. What I say 2000 is better than All American Badass is a different preference level to me. But before that, it was before the money. Then it was 99 before that. He had Summer Nights as well, too, right? I really want to put Joey Badass higher. I do. Because I feel like he's more than inconsistent. He he is always good, at least. But I feel like if I put Joey Badass higher, I'd also have to put... I wouldn't actually have to put Cole higher because Cole, Cole has dropped some duds to me. Born Center was fucking ass. Um, Anything before the come up to me from Cole wasn't that great. I don't think he had anything before the come up, actually. Um, I, you know, I couldn't be sure. And then the rest of his discog is just eh, eh, eh. So I, I can't say if I put Joey Badass up, though, I feel like I don't know. 
There's something I can't justify about Joey Badass. There's something. There's just something. I don't know what it is. I want to put Joey Badass higher. I just can't right now. I'm going to figure it out, though. I'm going to figure it out. We still got a lot of selections, so I'm going to try to go faster. Joiner Lucas, occasionally good. You know, he got the random drop every now and again, but I'm not putting him that high up. JPEG, Mafia. Bro, he's had my album of the year in 2000. Hold on, let me see, let me make sure so y'all can see these. Make sure so y'all can see these. Let me let me lower myself real quick. <sighs> JPEG Mafia. I don't know, gang. I I really want to put him in a goat category too, bro. Is he? It hasn't been long enough. It hasn't been long enough for me to say he's a goat. But I haven't heard a bad record from JPEG Mafia. I haven't. I haven't heard a bad record from him, bro. I have not. Every album I've heard from him, I bro, it's it's been fire. It has been. I can't I can't even say. I'ma keep him here, but it, it it's debatable for me. Uh Juice World, occasionally good, but mostly inconsistent for me. When 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 J, when JPEG Mafia or not JPEG Mafia when Juice World is gr when when he's good when he was good I think he was great. I'm still listening to the Bees Knees. I'm still listening to uh, uh Out My Way, and it's a couple other records that he's got. I think when he's singing well, he sings great. It's just a shame he went when he did. He went he 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 died way too young, bro. He had so much potential, bro. Kanye, he's given too much. I know the position that he's in right now. Uh. But even with some of the records that I haven't preferred, they were still incredibly influential. They were still incredibly influential, bro. Uh, easy. Kendrick. Yeah, that's not. Even me not being a big fan of Mr. Morale, bro. He's got probably one of the strongest discographies in hip-hop history. Overly dedicated, Section 80, Good Kid, Mad City, The Bimper Butterfly, Damn. I'm not a big fan of Mr. Morale, like I said, but I like the message in it. Very deep. I can't put him nowhere lower than that. Kid Cuddy, definitely not near flawless. I'm putting him here. I'm putting him there. Killer Mike, near flawless in my opinion. Uh, Kodak Black, occasionally good. You know, he got the random that'll pop through. And surprise me. I'm usually a fan of, you know, like Kodak, when he when he's great, he's great. It's just a fact. When he's great, he's great. Um, who is this? Kyle. Almost always lacking for me. I'm not really a Kyle fan. Lil B. Uh I'd be lying to myself if I said I was a huge Lil B fan, but he's still he's still he's still amazing. He's still amazing in his own right. He is. But listening to it, like I said, going through his whole shit, I'm not I'm not putting him that high up. I'm not. You know what? I could put him in a good category. I could. I can't actually. I really can't. I'm not gonna do that. Thank you, base guy. Yeah, thank thank you, base guy. But you know, base guy gonna sit right there where he at. I ain't gonna lie. Uh Lil Baby. Good, but not great. Somewhat inconsistent. Yeah, I'm I'm fine keeping him there. Lil Dicky is absolute garbage to me. Dog shit. Lil Peep, rest in peace. I'm not putting you no higher. Lil Pump, trash. Uh, Lil Skies, almost always lacking. Uh, let me see. Lil Uzi. Where am I gonna put Uzi? Where am I gonna put Uzi? Where am I gonna put Uzi? <sighs> Near flawless is crazy. Near flawless is crazy. I can't. I don't know for sure. Um. I can't put Uzi above Drake and J Cole and and Gucci. I can't do that. I, I gotta put Uzi down there. I gotta put Uzi down there. Wayne is tough. Wayne is so hard for me because. I need Wayne just 
He's got duds. He does, but he like the his highs are just so high for me, bro. His highs are amazing for me. I don't know, bro. He's not like Drake. Wayne has always been a better rapper than Drake at every point in his career. Wayne has always been better. Now, you can argue whether or not he's been as introspective, which I think he has been, especially earlier on in his career. But, ah, man, I really want to put him up there. But I'm, I'm going to put him right here. Just, a, just for me to not be biased, I'm going to put him here. I'm going to put him here. I hope he has a second win, though, because... I saw a little bit of my bias came in with with the Carter Five, I think, and then we had uh, Funeral, and then after that, I don't remember what else he dropped. I think he was supposed to come out with something else after that, and he might have, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I got I got I got to keep it in mind. Lil Xan trash. Lil Yachty, he's good. Lil Yachty's good. Lil Yachty's good for me. Uh, Logic, same case. Honestly, right now I feel like he's in the same category. I couldn't put Logic above Big Sean. I couldn't do that. Mac Miller, he's going, he's good here. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly, trash. Uh, Macklemore, not a fan. I don't even want to acknowledge Macklemore as anything because there isn't a single song from Macklemore that I really would ever take with me. At the very least, Machine Gun Kelly had a point in his career where I was taking Wild Boy with me, but outside of that, I can't, I can't give him anything else. Uh, Made in Tokyo. Uh, I think we follow each other on Twitter. I don't know why. I'm not a fan. Uh, Meek Mill, good, good. Meek Mill's definitely better to me than than the list of people right here. Uh, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the Meek Mill placement. Uh, Migos. Oh, my God. I'm such a fan of culture. I'm such a fan of culture, bro. I'm going to put him here. I'm going to put him here. Because then I, I remember Culture 2 and then Culture 3. Culture 3 was good when it started, when it came out. It definitely was. But, nah, it, it was just forgettable, bro. They haven't dropped anything else, though. So is Nas Goat to you? We haven't gotten a Nas. Oh, we, speaking of Nas. Speaking of Nas. Nas is... I'm going to put Nas up here where he belongs because that's where he belongs and that's where he will stay. We're going to talk about his early career. We're going to talk about his career right now. There have been a, there have been like maybe one, there have been like two does in Nas' disco, in Nas's discography. But him at the age that he is right now with the run that he's got right now, Tying into the run that he had earlier in his career, being as consistent and as great as he was, also having one of the greatest, arguably one of the greatest hip hop songs of all time with NY State of Mind, I can't give him anything lower than than best in the game. I can't. I can't. Nicki Minaj, occasionally good, but mostly inconsistent in quality to me. I've never really been a fan. Um, she's a goat in her own right, but I I can't really She's she's got some songs that I would listen to. She does. But she's definitely a goat in her own right, but I couldn't I couldn't put her above the rest of these artists. I just couldn't. Um Nipsey Hustle. I'm put him here. I'll put him here. I wouldn't say he's got a flawless discography, but when Nipsey's when Nipsey was good, he was great. When Nipsey was good, he was great. No name I'm cool with putting her here. I'm cool with putting her here. No name, name, no name is usually pretty good. No name is usually pretty good. Offset, occasionally good. Um, I need more material, especially solo from Offset. I feel like I feel like it, it, give give it giving him some more consistency and some more drops. We'll see where he's at, like long term. But there's been a, definitely some duds in Offset's career. He's been a part of some misses. Um, obviously being a part of Migos contributes to that as well. But when Offset is good, he's amazing. Usually my favorite. Usually my favorite. Playboy Cardi. Hmm. He's been good for me since 2019. Cardi's been good for me since 2019. We can talk about his allegations later. 
Bacardi's been good for me since 2019. He has been. Uh, I'm going to put him in a good category. I can't say that he's inconsistent. Uh, Based off this next drop, we'll determine if he's, you know, in the very talented spot. I'll be honest with you. Post Malone. I have a bias towards Post Malone because I love his melodies. I love his singing voice. I think technically he's not bad. Most of his music is a nothing sandwich as well, though. Um, and to say that he's better than Cardi B, Big Sean, Black, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm going to put him in the occasionally good category. I would like to put him higher, but I, I can't, knowing, knowing my track record with him. Princess Nokia, kind of the same thing. You know, I'll enjoy a record from her every now and again, but for the most part, nah. Pusha T, near flawless. Near flawless. Quavo, good but not great. Uh, Ray Shrimmer, they dropped Shrim Life 2 and just ceased to exist after that. I haven't heard anything from them since. Um, I would like to. I would like to hear more, but I just haven't. Offset is definitely a better rapper and a better artist than Post Malone. Argue with your mom, and if you don't agree, go die. Go die. That's just me personally. Uh, Ray Shrimmer, I'm going to say they dropped Shrim 3? Wait, why do I not remember that? What the fuck? I thought they stopped at two. What the fuck? Oh, was the was the third one a double album? That came out. When did this drop? This was sick. This was five years ago. What the fuck? I thought this was the second one. Oh, okay. Damn, they don't have enough. They do not have enough. I'm going to be honest. I got to put them in a good conversation because they don't have enough. Certainly not better than Migos. If I had to rank them, I would definitely put Migos above Ray Shrimmer, but neither of them have enough material dropped. Damn. Damn, and that makes me so upset because Migos never will at this point. I don't want to get sad. I'm gonna just stop talking. I don't want to get sad. Rhapsody, near flawless. Rich the kid. Um, I'm gonna say he's always either lacking. He's definitely had some hits and some bangers earlier on. Definitely had some hits and bangers earlier on. Uh, Rihanna. Don't know why she's on this list. I'm definitely a fan, but she's not a rapper, so I'm gonna put her down here. It's just a weird place to put her. Uh, Royce the five nine. He had a couple duds in my opinion. But recently, I feel like the last couple records Royce has dropped have been good. Definitely better than most of the people in the good category. But I can't put him any higher because to say he's got a flawless discog would be a little, a little extra. Run the jewels though. Definitely damn near flawless. Actually, run the jewels might be goaded. Let me go back. Let me see. I think run the jewels might actually be in the goat conversation. Hold on. Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, these niggas in the GOAT. They they going in the GOAT conversation. They going in the GOAT conversation. They going in the GOAT conversation. Not a single bad record, bro. They they in the GOAT conversation. They've been around for years. Never had anything that I've heard from them that I thought was bad. Um, Always fire. Nah, they, they going in the GOAT conversation. Uh, uh, Schoolboy Q. Very inconsistent. Oh, I can't say he's very inconsistent. Trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Cause that rap, that last album that he dropped was not good. Crash Talk, it wasn't good. Uh Damn, what was that other one? Blank Face, fucking amazing. Uh Habits and Contradictions, I like that one a lot too. Uh didn't he have a record in between that? I feel like he did, and I'm just missing it. He dropped something earlier than that. I can't put him that high up, though. But I can. I'm a big fan of Schoolboy Q. And I'm definitely taking Schoolboy Q over J. Cole. But to say that he's better than... No, no. Just going by overall discography. What it, what it, what is what is Schoolboy Q's discog looking like real quick? Real quick. I'm going to go faster, I swear to God. I'm just so hung up on the discogs right now. Oh, yeah, I'm forgetting Oxymoron. There you go. That was the one that I was forgetting. 
Setbacks was good too. Habits and contradictions was good. Oxy, yeah, I'm gonna put him a little higher. One dud don't don't make you like not good. Like Schoolboy Q could go here for me. I'll put Schoolboy Q right there. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Sheck West almost always lacking. Or was the last thing he dropped? What was the last thing Sheck West dropped? It was Mud Boy. Yeah, nah. Sheck West, I'm I'm gonna put, I'm gonna keep him here, bro. Well, I could say he's occasionally good though. Well, for him not to have dropped twenty, tw Mud Boy came out twenty nineteen, didn't it? I don't know. I, I'm I'm not feeling it like that. We we bought it. We bought a speed run the rest of this though. Ski mask, good but not great. Um, his discog ain't long enough either. Slim Jimmy, occasionally good but not. Actually, I'm not even gonna say that. Almost always lacking. I feel like that's fair. And I'm low key now in the position where I'm putting this Slim Jimmy in the same category as the original list. I'm not actually mad at that no more. Smoke Perp is absolute dog shit. Snoop Dogg, uh, good but not great. Again, this is a case of recency bias i feel like or not even recency bias but a lot of people just not listening to an artist or a goats quote unquote goats full discography if you listen to it you'll realize bro he's not i'm sorry he's just not in that conversation he's just not sway lee uh good but not great t pain i really feel like disrespectful even putting him on the list you know what i'm gonna put this i'm gonna add this not a fan slash don't need to be here t pain I feel like T-Pain and Rihanna don't need to be here. Uh, Takeoff. He dropped Rocket, wasn't it? I was not a fan of Rocket at all. But as an addition to Migos, I mean, I can't put him. I got to put him in the same in the same conversation with Offset and Quavo. I just have to. Tay-K, not a fan. Uh, T. Grizzly, good but not great. Tory Lanez, occasionally good. Travis Scott. Oh, shit. I forgot about Travis Scott. Okay. I forgot about Travis Scott. Um, whew. I want to say Travis Scott is very talented, but, like, at what? Talented at what? What does he do? Like, I feel like Yachty, I'm, I know you're going to say I'm hating on Travis Scott now, but I feel like what Yachty did on, nah, I can't say that. I can't say that. I'm not going to say that. I want to, though. I want to, though. I want I want to say it. Like, Yachty's contribution to his most recent album I feel like it's Travis's contribution to a lot of the music that he makes. But I, I'm going to be honest. I definitely like Travis Scott's music more than Yachty's usually. And Travis has a strong discog. I won't lie. I still haven't watched the Mallory Bros uh, little thing. They uh they, they they Travis Scott rodeo versus Astral World little thing. I got to watch that. Um, Let me see. Let me look at his discog real quick. I know we got Al Faro and Days Before Rodeo that's not on here, I don't think. So we gotta take those into account as well. Um Astro World, great. Birds in the Trap, not great. Jack Boys, decent. Rodeo, great. Uh Huncho Jack, decent. And then thinking about thinking about Days Before Rodeo and Al Faro. Could I say he's near flawless? I couldn't. I couldn't. Now, if Utopia is good, if Utopia is good, I'll put him in the very talented, near flawless category. I will. But as it stands, he's going in the good conversation. As it stands. I can't watch the, uh, that video um, because it's behind. They're on, it's on Patreon. I'm not. If you want to watch it, go go subscribe to their Patreon. Um, Trippy Red. He's occasionally good right now. The Trippy Red's been, been disappointing me since 2019. With the exception of a love letter to U4. With the exception of a love letter to U4. Um, Ty Dolla Sign. <sighs> I 
again, I haven't listened to much of Ty Dolla Sign's music. I am a fan, but I just never bother to listen like that. How do y'all feel about Ty Dolla Sign? He got heat. I know he got heat, but I'm just, I'm not enough of a fan to say that I've listened to his whole discography or nothing like that. He's more of a singer. Okay, I'm not like when I whenever I do hear Ty Dolla Sign, bro, I'm usually a fan. I just don't listen to his music like that. But feature wise, I've never really been like weirded out or been bothered by a Ty Dolla Sign feature, even on songs that were bad. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, Tyga, almost always lacking. I'm not a Tyga fan. Uh, and now we got Tyler the Creator. It's going down in here. I'm Tyler's definitely team. going in the very talented, damn near flawless category. I I I, I got to admit, three album run has been incredible. I think he's dropping another one right now. Um, before that, he still has some contenders. Even if I wasn't a fan of it, uh, it, it just is what it is, bro. Vic Mensa, occasionally good but not consistently. Vince Staples, good, not great category. Wale. Uh shit. And I like Wale a lot. And Wale was hard in his earlier work. I'ma put him here. I'ma put him here. Wale is still a goat in his own right too. Wiz Khalifa, based off the music that he's dropped, I've never been a huge Wiz fan like that. Uh so I'm gonna keep him here. I don't have a big stake in that argument or in that fight. So if y'all wanna say he's higher or lower, go ahead. Excess is in Tassion. Uh, occasionally he was good for me. He had some random moments. I see the talent with XXX. I do. I see the talent with him, but I can't say he's any higher than that. Uh, Corday, same conversation. Uh, and it's really not really a question of skill for Corday. It's just a question of me. Just not. He's just boring. He's just boring to me. Nothing about Corday or his music just stands out ever. Why is Logic so high? Logic being here shouldn't be a surprise to you. Like, the standard for Logic music is that he's generally pretty good, but he, I have the same criticisms for him that I do for Corday. Like, his music, he's a good rapper, but he's not doing or saying anything that's worth being above all these other people. I just don't see it. Now, Mir, uh, occasionally good, sim similar situation. No, I can't even say occasionally. Now, Amir just ain't been good recently in general. I wish I could put him higher, but it's just not the case. YG has not been good for me since 2019. I'm going to put him right here. That's where I feel like he belong. YNW Melly, not a fan. Uh, Young Thug, okay, now we get into the big boys. Young Thug has a very shaky discography. I should go back and listen to Jeffrey again because I feel like I didn't fully appreciate that record when I first listened to it, but... There's other stuff. So much fun. It wasn't bad. Punk, I didn't like. Barter 6, obviously great. Beautiful Thugger Girls, Slime Seasons. Mm, then we got the tapes earlier. Eh, I put him in a good category. To say he's near flawless is just a lie. Saying he's near flawless is a lie. I'm not going to lie to myself. Young Boy is occasionally good, but to me, I just don't see it. Um, argue with your mom once again. Freddie Gibbs. Hold on. Freddie Gibbs is in that very talented conversation. Honestly, if I go back to no, no, because without a shadow of a doubt, wasn't a huge fan of that one. Wasn't a huge fan of that one. He's definitely near flawless, though. And his most recent record definitely was the weakest in that three year run that he had, or four year run almost. He dropped Bandana. He had Pinata before that, a little bit before that, and then Shadow of a Doubt, I think, dropped in between that. Then You Only Live Twice was great. I'm trying to think of what else he had. Yeah, those are good. And then the, the, the one with Alchemist, the one with Alchemist, Alfredo. Alfredo was fucking amazing. Oh, yeah, and he did that one with, uh, with, with Kenny Beats, too. And then he did the one with Fetty, too. Hey, I'm not going to lie. Nah, I can't put him there. I can't put him there. I want to. I want to, but I can't. I might. I might. I might. We'll see. Injury reserve. Uh, similar conversation. I'm gonna put them up in the very talented conversation. Yeah, I can do that. I feel confident and I feel comfortable doing that. As a group, they've been fired. Lil Mosey, trash. 
Lil Nas X. Um, occasionally is good, but project wise, never really got much from dude. MC Ride. Not gonna lie to you, bro. Um, damn. I can't say he's inconsistent in quality. This is more of this one's more in just what you like versus what you don't. Cause MC Ride has been pretty consistent. It's just you either like him or you don't. You know what I'm saying? Um I can't really say he's inconsistent. He's not. Okay, well, speak for yourself. You can say you're not a fan. I'm a fan, but um he definitely is never gonna be beyond this for me. Unless he just switches up his rap style. Megan the Stallion, occasionally good, but not consistently. Uh, last thing, full project wise, that I like from Megan was Fever, and that was it. Who is this? Oh, I open mic eagle. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, open mic eagle. Let me go back through his discog. What am I missing? I feel like I missed a project. I feel like I missed a project. I feel like I missed a project. I have not. Open Mike Eagle is damn near a goat himself. Damn near. I'm gonna put him in the. I'm gonna put him in the almost flawless category. Thought I missed something, but I didn't. Rico Nasty is. Oh, damn. And I'm a big Rico Nasty fan. I'm not putting her above. She's going in the occasionally good. She's occasionally good for me. Wait, I can't I can't say that about her. I can't say that about her. I feel like she might be lower though. She's definitely got some duds in her discog too. I think I think she got her self title that I wasn't a huge fan of. The recent joint that she dropped I wasn't a big fan of. Nightmare Vacation I was not a big fan of. Super Trap 2, not a big fan. I think this was the this was the recent tape that I wasn't a huge fan of. Yeah, I'm a I'ma say occasionally. When she's good, she's amazing. When she's good, she's amazing, but uh when she's not extremely forgettable. Same thing with Roddy Rich right now. Um I've always felt that way about Roddy though. That's not even just because of recently. It's just that's just where Roddy is to me. Tierra Whack, she hasn't dropped Actually, you know what? She's going to be up here. Tierra Wack will be in the near flawless. I like most of what she puts out. YK Osiris is absolute dog shit to me. Haven't heard a good song from him in, in years. Not a fan. He don't need a beer. I, I mean, his voice. If, if we're going to rank him off of a singer, then he's still trash. But he don't need to be here. Yeah, that, that was a racist pick. Young Lean. I don't know about Young Lean. I'm not a fan. I don't know nothing about Young Lean. Zillakami, also, I'm not a fan, um, but I know he's not trash. I know he's not trash. Uh, and then, then we got MF Doom for the last pick, and we're going to put him in the go-to category. Simple as that. <laughs> Simple as that. Simple as that. I feel like this is fair. I feel like this is fair. Only took four hours, and it took like it took one hour to do that. It took one hour. I don't think this list is I don't think this list is questionable at all. Honestly, I could put I could honestly put Rocky higher. I don't know for sure though. I could, I don't know for sure though. This is fair to me. I feel like someone could review this and be like, "Oh, but didn't." Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I feel like I got arguments for everybody for for, for where for where they belong, for where they belong. I feel like this is decent. I feel like it's good, okay? Gabe, terrible list. Gabe, you're you're probably 17. You don't know shit about the world. Kill yourself in a video game. <clears throat> That's fine. That's fine with me. L streamer, L list, L haircut, L fit, L tabs, open, L gamer. <laughs> 